The dreaded teenage phase with your dog is something that people get incredibly nervous about, and rightly so. It is where the vast majority of problem behaviours set in, and if you don't know what to do about it, you may be dealing with those bad behaviours for the rest of your dog's life. But if you want to know how to get through the teenage phase with your dog successfully, first of all, you must understand what the problem is, and then how you can deal with each of those problems. And that's exactly what we're gonna look at in today's video. Now, these two dogs have just come out of the teenage phase and Uncle Sully here has been out of it for a little while. Hence all these gray whiskers, you're becoming an old man, aren't you? But the first problem with the teenage phase that creates behavioral issues is the simple fact that your dog starts to become more brave. People think that their puppy training is going brilliantly, that recall is superb and that everything is fine and dandy. But what's actually often happening is that your puppy is scared and they want to not take any risks. So they stay around you because you will look after them and take care of them. You might think that that's good training but frankly it's just natural canine development. As they start to go into the teenage phase naturally they start to become braver. So they start to explore the world and they want to start going off further and further away because they start to think that they don't necessarily need you for them to stay safe. That's where problems like terrible recall come in. Then they end up finding themselves in bad situations with other dogs, other people, out in traffic, any nightmare situation that can happen which is then the trickle effect to you panicking more therefore the dog panicking more and it simply is just the fact that your dog is starting to get brave very very common with guarding breeds where as they not only start to become more brave but those guarding instincts start to come out which starts to make them more confident and assertive as well so how we manage this is really really simple your obedience at this stage isn't done your obedience Obedience, in fact, is never done. It's something that you have to be working on forever, but it's definitely not proofed when your dog's entering the teenage phase. So you simply just need to stop setting your dog up to fail. Control the variables, use your long line, take them to environments that you can control, rent paddocks and fields like this that allow you to control those variables whilst you're working on obedience and working with obedience through the teenage phase. The second part of the teenage phase that many people struggle with is the fact that their dog's working drives start to kick in. That might be a Labrador that's desperate to retrieve, chase, bring things back. It might be a Spaniel that wants to flush, get their nose down and go through brush to find game. It might be a guarding dog that wants to start scaring everybody off that they've never met before. When your dog's a puppy, you might see snippets of some of these drives coming out, but the teenage phase is where it really starts to explode. And the tip, Riley Brake, the tip that you can utilize to not only get through this, but actually maximize on this is use it to your advantage. The dog's ancestral drives, what's in their DNA. You don't want to be working against that because oftentimes it's a fight you're going to lose. You should have chosen that breed for a reason. You should be aware of those drives and therefore you should be accepting of those drives and understand and honor that that is the dog that you have. So you can utilize that for success. Labradors are a classic example. If you want to maximize success with your dog, teach Teach them to retrieve. Get them obsessed with a dummy launcher or a tennis ball. When they become obsessed with that dummy launcher and tennis ball, keep one of them in your pockets. If something happens in the environment that you might not be ready for, prepared for, you can get one of those things out and your dog will become locked in on you, focused in on you, and you can use it to reward desirable behaviors and distract away from undesirable ones. Now, the next thing about the teenage phase is usually what people think about when we talk about difficulties with the teenage phase and that is the reality of hormones. Just like people, the reason we call it the teenage phase is we know that humans going through their teenage development, hormones are raging, flying all over the place and make things challenging for most people in some capacity. Exactly the same thing is happening with our dogs. There's going to be days where their energy break is through the roof, it crazy high, days where it's really low, days where their obedience is going beautifully, days where their obedience is going terribly. And a lot of that 
that is down to those hormonal fluctuations that are naturally part of the developmental cycle. However, for you to manage it isn't necessarily, again, fighting against it. It's more to understand it and have realistic expectations. You should never use it as an excuse for poor behavior. You should always hold your dog accountable. You should always set firm rules, boundaries, and expectations and make sure that they stick to those rules, boundaries, and expectations. But you should have realistic expectations that throughout this phase, they're going to test those boundaries. Throughout this phase, they're going to make mistakes. Throughout this phase, you're going to have great days and you're going to have bad days. So there's going to be days where you're going to get to do tons of praise and reinforcement. And there are going to be days where you feel like you spent the whole day challenging your dog's behavior. That's important for you to understand so that you can remain calm and know it's a natural part of the process. But it's also important for you to understand that it can get through that stage because I promise you, if you stick to those rules, boundaries and expectations, it gets better. I had the same issue with my dog Puppy. She has only just recently come out of the teenage phase. Her hormones went wild. She had multiple phantom pregnancies, which made the hormonal thing much worse. There was days where she was borderline an aggressive dog. Then days where she was this soft dog that everybody knows and loves. And it was variable day to day. Now, I never excuse those behaviors. I challenge those behaviors, but I didn't panic because I understood where they were coming from and I understood that it does get better. And with Puppy here, it has got better. And she has come back to the character and temperament that I know and love and expect her to be. You have to have those same realistic expectations, however, not use that as an excuse to allow bad behavior. Just use that as an understanding for you to remain calm, assertive, confident, and stick to the plan.